Hi everybody. One of the things that can really change how your scene looks is good lighting. You could literally take a scene, bad lighting looks bad. Add some lights, make it look really good. You can even make a really bad scene look good with some cool lighting and shadow effects. So let's see how to get this done here. So what we do is we basically go back into our world, zoom out a bit, and by default you already have a light. And there it is right there, that little dot. Okay. You'll see that when it's selected, I'm just going to scroll this down here. This is your world, right, or your scene. And you'll see here I've got the lamp selected. So this is the lamp that's giving us light. Notice how when I render this thing, well, let's switch to a quick render here. You'll see how the light is cast in shadows as if it were right there. Now it doesn't draw the light, it just makes the light from there. You'll see the light's also reflecting off, you know, the mirror-like surface. So... What do I do here to actually add lights or change lights? Well, you can edit them just like any other object. You can move them around. And depending where you move them can have really neat effects, right, on how the scene renders. So now if I render, you know, all the shadows change and shift. You can even take your light. You can even take your light and you can change the color of it. Okay, and here's where you do that. So this little point lamp here, you'll see here on our menu, we've explored a few of the things before, but you have this right here. That little symbol, that's sort of for the light, the object data, lamp, and what you get to do is you can change what kind of lighting that is. Okay, and there's a few different ones that you get to use. This is just a point light right now. So point light is like a light bulb, shines in all directions. You can even set the color. So let's say I want it to shine red. Oh yeah. So it shines red right now. Now when I end up rendering, you know, it's a red light. Red light will interact with different colors in different ways, right? Like it would in the real world to give you the lighting. You'll see here you have energy of the light. So you can take the light down, okay, or increase the energy of the light, okay, to make it brighter. Uh, what else can we show you? There's a lot of options here. Shadow or no shadow. If you click no shadow, notice the shadows disappeared. Let me just put this back to white light again. No shadow, no shadows. Ray shadow, you see the shadows. Keep in mind, I am in rendered mode right now. If you're in any other mode, you don't get to see the shadows, right? And all the lighting effects. Um, the distance. There's very physics-y uh, mathematical things here. How the light falls off, you can just explore it, right? How it uh, peters off as distance you know, gets farther away. You'll see the lights dying off. So you can change the distance that the light works and you know, just explore how those affect things. So that's the point light. Sun. Sun shines from basically straight above. And so the sun is a big light super far away. Okay, so that's the sun. Spotlight. Now I'm going to get out of this mode here for a second. Just go to material mode. The spotlight, look at what it looks like. It basically is like a spotlight. It's a cone. Okay, and you can move it, whoops, to do some very neat little effects with your lighting. Now, of course, they have the things like the distance, how it falls off, the energy. You can do the color, right, and change it around. So you can explore with all that, right, and how it works. The one thing you have to know with the spotlight is it's aimed in a certain direction. So what you can do is you can hit the R key for rotate, and then you can move the mouse around, right? And remember when you're rotating, you can also hit X, Y, Z, X. You're just rotating in the X direction, Y. You're just rotating the Y and Z. You're rotating the Z. So you can sort of do a whole combination of RX, RY, RZ to get this thing looking exactly where you need it to look. Okay? Not too bad. You can even do that trick with tracking the constraint. Uh, with the camera, you can go back to that video and you can make the spotlight aim at the cube all the time if you wanted to do something like that. Hemi? I don't even really know what the Hemi does, but you can look it up. And area. 
I don't know what the area does either and why it's not lighting anything up here, but you can look that one up. The popular ones for beginners, right, are the point, the sun, and the spotlight, right? Those are three good ones. You can do some real neat things with lights. Now, what happens if you want to add some extra lights into your scene? Let's just make that back to one. If you want to add extra lights, just like objects, you go add, but you're not adding a mesh. You're adding a lamp, and you can decide at the time you add what type you want. Okay, so let's say we want to add a spotlight. There's my spotlight, and you'll see it aims straight down all the time, which makes it sort of easy to use. And then if you want to do your rotating, R, Y, rotate Y, you know, you can start to aim it. R, Z, start to turn it around, right? So it's sort of fun. You can see how you can eat up a lot of time trying to get the lights really cool and just trying stuff out, which is totally fine. But remember, it's a little intro course. Don't go too nuts uh, with the lights. Just get some cool lights in there. Try your render, you know, and see if you can get some cool effects going. That's the basics on lightings, okay? The dead basics. Add as many as you want, wherever you want to uh, show off your models. Thanks for watching.